Real estate is definitely a competitive business from buying and selling right down to who gets to auction your house. So Shelley, it certainly pays to have a gun auctioneer and this week I checked out the best in the biz at the Australasian Auctioneering Championships. $1.5 million, I can see you playing tennis already and I like it. Well, this is the time of year auctioneers have been waiting for. The top 17 auctioneers in Australia and New Zealand are going head to head. They've all inspected the same property and now they're going to sell it in a mock auction in front of a panel of some very particular judges. The heat is on. Last year, a Kiwi took out the title. Will an Aussie auctioneer be able to take back the trophy? Sir, with the $100,000 bid before, I would have thought, come back in, yes. I'm going to suggest one seven. We invite you in again, first, second, third and final call. Guys, I point you in the right direction. You hesitate, I articulate one point. What do you do when the bids dry up like that? Uh, you put your big boy pants on, you take a big breath, and as a professional, you keep going again. What about one six, sir? One five. Well, your persistence beats my resistance, and good luck in your endeavours. In front now, right hand side at 1 million 570. 20. Sir, I do not know who you're talking to on the phone, but in a five second conversation, you've changed your position, and I like it. So, what was your strategy in there? I always want to be attacking, giving it to the crowd, you know, you know, pushing rather than hanging on. Why don't you go straight to 1.7? Come back, sir. Tell me $180,000. Breaking news, the seller has uttered to me the three most romantic words you can hear at an auction. That is on the market. How do you learn that craft? Through a lot, a lot of practice. Postmasters, numbers, staking your claim, seven bedrooms. How many kids you got, actually? Look, I think you've got to be uh, clinical, but I think also what you do need to do is bring some personality to it. A lot of us do theatre of the auction to try and pull people in, because you're entertaining at the end of the day. In the words of Hamlet, sir, Act 3, Scene 3, line number 94, no. <laughs> First time. 2,322,000, I call it now. Once, twice, third, final time at 2322. Sold! Straight down the middle. Sold, Timmy and 322. Sold! So there you have it. That's some serious competition. And the winner is. Ooh, drum roll, please. The winner is Justin Nickerson, and he is joining us from Brisbane. Justin, great to have you with us, and congratulations, mate. Morning, guys. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, it's still sort of, I guess, sinking in a little bit, but uh, appreciate the well wishes. I'm sure you have some very, very tough competition when it comes to auctioneer of the year, but the real job is when you're out there in the burbs and you're in between auctions today. How did your first house go today? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was a little bit quieter this one, so we had the one bidder, um, didn't quite get to a level it was going to sell it, but they've got a lot of interest that's uh, lurking with intent, let's say, post-auction, so <laughs> I think they'll probably get it done uh, in the next little while. Oh, fingers crossed. Now, bragging rights, we're up for grabs. What does it give you over New Zealand as the Australian who actually beat the Kiwis? Oh, lots of things. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of chat that goes backwards and forwards, and, and we've had a pretty good run Australia after New Zealand had a, a stronghold for a long time. So uh, nice to get it on the back on the right side of the ditch, as we tell them. We can't beat them in the rugby, so at least it's something. <laughs> to get to take home. So what was your reaction when you found out that you're announced the winner? Obviously, you take a lot of pride and kudos with you. Yeah, look, it's mostly just relief, um, to be honest. It's it's a big few days, but it's a big lead up into into the few days. So, um, yeah, it's mostly just sort of relief, and and it does take a while to sort of sink in, and uh, it's something that you you sort of work towards for a long period of time, and it's been an ambition to, to try and achieve it. So, uh, to get back there again is always um, it's an always nice, satisfied feeling after a little while. Justin, in these championships, what is your strategy going into them? Uh, not make a mistake. That's probably one uh, A. I think is if if you don't do something that rules you out of contention. Um, but most of all, I think, and, and I heard um, one of the other competitors there saying he really likes to set the pace. So I, I think where where my strength generally is engaging with the crowd. So I do try and um, you know get to know some of the bidders and, and really try and have some byplay with the bidders because that that's probably where my strengths uh, lie. But realistically, you really sort of um, you know whatever can happen can happen, and you just got to kind of react and roll with it as best you can. It's obviously a great thing to have those bragging rights. Has it increased business in the last couple of days? Are you fully booked right through to Christmas? <laughs> Uh, I was pretty fully booked anyway, um, so no, but I've, I'll, uh, I'm getting a sash made up and a, and a tiara, so that <laughs> hopefully will add a bit of um, public, public recognition out there. And, and now that's only left me with one goal left to tick off, which is good. And what is that goal? 
to get on the block. And if only I knew someone who could help me out, Shelley. <laughs> I'll see what I can do for you, Justin. Well, as the best auctioneer in the country, oh, we'd love yeah, to have we'll you see. on board. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Lovely catching yeah, up with you. you we'll catch up with you soon.